Well then, let's get to trading. The spitter plants and the green monster men aren't native to Zion. Wonder where they came from. You don't mind getting wet? against other tribes. Lots more of them since Joshua came to us. Nearly there now. Watch out for traps in the water. Got to keep the white legs out somehow, eh?
They jangle like crazy.
So I finally get to explore all those taboo places without the other scouts yelling at me? Can't wait. Like the shadow of a ghost. Bet they don't have anything as nasty as Yao Guai out where you come from, huh? What can I tell you? White legs. Nasty bunch. They've been raiding deeper into Zion ever since New Canaan was wiped out. That's what Joshua said. White legs came down from Great Salt Lake in force fell on New Canaan before they could mount a defense. Joshua found some of the survivors led by a man named Daniel. Most of them have fled the valley, but Daniel stayed on with the Sorrows tribe. He and Joshua have been arguing over whether to stand and fight the White Legs, or take the Sorrows and the Dead Horses out of the valley. That's the weird part. Normally, the White Legs keep to the Great Salt Lake. I don't know what brought them down this far south. What? Our advanced scouts leave chalk signs to mark places rich with game. I'm not a full scout yet, so I follow the marks and guide the hunters. Dead horses mark ourselves to commemorate our hunts. When a hunter takes a great beast, or when a youth goes on his first hunt, he gets a tattoo. We came up in the land of the dead horse, though why the back when folks called it that, I got no hint. We raided, we fought, we lost. Our enemies drove us back into Zion, and we would have died if it hadn't been for Joshua. Joshua and his Kaisar. When Joshua first came to us, he was servant to a man he called Kaisar. He led his master's armies, and we were ready to follow him into war. Then he lost his master's army to a tribe called Ensiar, the Sunset People. When he returned, he was as you saw him, burned, broken, but changed. He led us away from Kaisar led us to our own destiny in Zion. If it wasn't for Joshua, the dead horses would still be the whipping boys of the Zion Valley. He taught us how to hold our territory, to protect ourselves, 
He guided us away from Kaisar, and showed us how Kaisar would have destroyed us. Little bit. I met some of their missionaries a few times, but I've never been to their city. Joshua could tell you more. Or Daniel, I imagine. We decorate our clubs with them to honor Joshua Graham. They were the weapons of his old tribe, so now they are ours. Can't say they seem that dangerous to me. But Joshua says they won the West. Only a little. I was very young. He was different. Prouder, yes, but harder, crueler, more driven. Really, I was terrified of him. We all were. When he came back, I almost didn't believe he was the same man. He was humbler. He wanted to protect, not destroy. Well, because they're our enemies. What else would we do? They take our land, they kill our scouts, they poach our hunting grounds. someone what can I tell you who glad to hear it that'll be some happy mama huh thank you really it means a lot to me He's been the chief of our tribe since he came back to the valley. He went off to the civilized world years ago to fight a war. That didn't go well. You see his face, you'll understand. I don't know. He doesn't talk about it much. Maybe. But how can two civilized tribes fight over something as small as a dam? Really? That's... my gods. Must be some mighty civilized folks who built that. <laughs> now, you sound like Joshua. He always tells me that tribal life is better. That I should stay here and forget the outside world.
Gut. Hoi. Auslander Zuka Joshua Graham. You know our tongue. Smart, Auslander. Joshua in high place of cave. You show respect, Utman. Joshua is greatest warrior. You show him no respect. He show you thunder and fire. You wise for Auslander. Bet they don't have anything as nasty as Yao Huai out where you come from, huh? We should have given you a better welcome on your first visit to Zion. But from what I hear, the White Legs beat us to it. White Legs seem to be the only visitors we have these days. And I wouldn't have expected anyone from the Mojave to come looking for us. And you're a courier, no less. Not the one I was expecting, but I suppose he wouldn't have come with a caravan. I don't know if you were close to the other members of your group, but you have my sympathy. I pray for the safety of all good people who come to Zion, even Gentiles. But we can't expect God to do all the work. The dead horses are capable scouts. Nothing passes into or out of Zion without my hearing of it. Happy trails. I remember. They were good friends. I have bad news for your employers. New Canaan was destroyed, its citizens scattered. All because of the White Legs. And Caesar, of course. The White Legs want to join the Legion. 
Caesar's rite of passage is the destruction of the new Canaanites. Almost assuredly because of me. The good news is that we can help you find your way back. Daniel, one of the other new Canaanites, has made many maps of the region. The bad news is that we can't help you right now. Not with everything that's going on. You're a good neighbor to us. We all go through periods of darkness. In such times, we can turn to the Lord. But it's good to have friends. Daniel and I need pre-war tools to help us navigate beyond Zion. Should we need to evacuate, these instruments will be vital to us. Normally, we would have some of the dead horses or sorrows look for them. But many pre-war buildings in the valley are taboo. They won't go inside. The Sorrows believe in a spirit that lives in the caves. Say the spirit punished them once for trespassing. They put special marks around the cave entrances to keep people out. It doesn't work on the white legs, of course, but the dead horses are spooked. Thank you. Follows Chalk can help you find your way around the valley. He's inexperienced, but he knows enough of our language to ignore the taboos about pre-war buildings. What can I tell you? Best place to look for back when stuff is the taboo places. Sorrows and dead horses don't go in there, and even white legs don't like them much. Lots of them around the valley. Places built by the folk from back when. You'll know them when you see them. Scouts mark them with handprints. The handprints are a warning to keep out. Angry ghosts live inside. Not that I believe in angry ghosts. They're just spooky old places. Right? Lots of back when places to choose from. But for the things we need, best to start with the really closed up places. Three I know of. A building down by the river called a fishing lodge. The old ranger station in the northwest. And the general store right by it. Closer to home might be something you can salvage from the place where the little ones fell, just west of the Eastern Virgin. In the river, there's a twisted pile of metal and glass, all full of bones. Joshua says they were scouts, but they looked awful small to me. Lots of that old stuff, uh, how do you say it, uh, electronics. Maybe you could use some of it.
Eastern Virgin. What's the phrase? Uh, house, sweet house. Like the shadow of a ghost. Why do you carry all those bottle caps anyway? They jangle like crazy. <laughs> 